representing public power interests in, in front of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission or in matters affected by the FERC requires familiarity not only with FERC's procedures and policies and FERC law generally, but it requires an extra understanding of the nature of public power. Most public power interests are not subject to FERC regulation, but they're still heavily affected by it and are typically very concerned about becoming more subject to FERC regulation than they already are. Therefore, among other considerations, in representing public power interests in certain matters uh, before FERC or certain types of transactions, it's important to have an understanding and be sensitive to the jurisdictional issues so that you don't inadvertently subject your clients to jurisdiction that they don't face today and probably don't care to face. Public power interests are not-for-profit entities. Uh, as such, they have different motivations than investor-owned utilities, which by definition and by law are for-profit entities. Also, because public power entities tend to be locally owned and operated and locally managed, uh, their philosophies are not only different, but the makeup of their management is different. The philosophy of their management is different. Local politics can be very important and having it a significant influence on how their management reacts and handles uh, different matters. Public power and lawyer needs to be sensitive to these characteristics in order to appreciate the type of client they're representing and to do the right kind of job for them and be most effective and to understand that public power interests are first and foremost interested in getting the deal done and providing service at the lowest cost possible uh, for their customers.